Sorry, it's the end of September 2021 and it's a very exciting day. We're in a secret location in Worcestershire where I have seemingly left some uh, old uh, heirlooms and we're unpacking the heirlooms. I'm not sure what we're going to find. Now, the first thing I do know, because it's been handed down from the loft, is the D-Link DCS something switch. And I've just checked, it's a 10 100 megabit switch. So basically it's junk and there's no, oh no, this doesn't need a power supply. It's got inbuilt. Uh... So anyway, that's going to be uh, pre-cycled. So next we've got some clothes I've not seen in a seemingly long time. So this is one of many IBM t-shirts. Wow, that's from the days at IBM. I don't think that could be one of the ones I bought for everyone to share. I bought about 50 t-shirts before I, I left to, to share with everyone. It's a going away present. Next we've got, uh, <clears throat> I think that's very interesting, but I, I am interested. No? Oh, do you know, I think that's a Fruit of the Loom t-shirt from America. Okay. Oh no, Speedo, Speedo, yeah. Speedo, I used to go to Speedo shops in America. That is a enormous t-shirt. I, I swear I must have uh, had baggy t-shirts then because that's, that's very big. T-shirt, okay. Next. Oh, now we're talking. The famous Calvin Klein underwear. Now listen, what happens when you hear that? The rubber's gone, so that's something thrown away. Oh. Early running socks. So these are twin skin. It says twin skin on it. Twin skin running socks. So in my early days of running, I would recommend these to myself. I used to buy these in the, the Warwick shop and they've got two layers. And the idea was to keep your, your feet from, from blistering. I don't really feel that works anymore. So we're going to leave all that. Next, it's like, a, oh, it's so exciting. So yeah, probably another tip. I always buy things in many, more speedo black t-shirt wow uh, i think i think yeah could be good for oh oh this is one of the infamous tracky bottoms from i'm guessing i'm going to say speedo it is speedo so in america speedo used to do a good set of um clothes i used to sort of uh, dress at speedo uh, when i was living there that is I, I'm, it looks like it's short. I'm sure I've got longer than that. Anyway, we shall investigate that later. And last but not least, oh, I'm going to say speedo, but it's not speedo, is it? Hang on a minute. Oh, low alpine. Oh, a quality brand. Do you know what? I think that that's serviceable. I think we could use that. That's a, that's almost new. Everyone's laughing, and the, behind the camera, people are laughing. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm not not joking around here. Now. What is in this mystery bag? Now this is a Marlboro bag. So it must date from around the year 2000. So it's 20 years. Now, what have we got in here? It's a box. It's got written lighters on it. Lighters, what's inside here? Not seen these boxes in 20 years. Oh, it's a lighter. Some fancy, oh, it's a Japanese mega pocket torch it's got written. How does it work without? Oh, look at that, 20 years and it still works. Isn't that amazing? Oh, well, yeah, that's... And these are magnets for some reason. I don't know what happens there. It's magnets. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I don't know. It's magnets. Anyway, magnets and a torch. It's, first, it's, like, a, it's like a tombola, isn't it? Next, we've got an M these are DLT, Digital Linear Tape boxes. I got these when I was working in Docklands in about the year 2000. They put these tapes into a machine room and they didn't need the boxes. And that, we, this wasn't our machine, this was a neighbouring machine. When I was there installing and configuring our um, off-site off, off uh, data centre, and the guy next door said, oh, he's thrown all these boxes away. I said, oh, I want these boxes, they're brilliant. And they are, to this day, in uh, in Warwickshire, I use them. So there you are. That, that box is not going to go to waste. Oh, what have we got in here? You're not going to believe it. You are not going to believe it. The mist, the missing bowls, the missing Winnie the Pooh bowls. Look, they're so they're brand new. This, this I don't like this design as much. This is the classic Winnie the Pooh bowl. But I think we've got that in the supermarket. Almost, we're almost out of excitement here. Hang on. 
This is, wow, this is a very expensive keyboard, isn't it by um, H H H keyboard, Happy Hackers keyboard. This is a classic keyboard. And I bet you it's got, has it got a, oh look, it's got a PC interface, wow. So that's got the old uh, PS2 style interface. And that interface isn't used anymore as such, but I've got an original IBM PC. This will be making a great keyboard for that. So that, that's made the whole explosion worthwhile. We're nearly empty now, I think we've just got cables, not very exciting, even I think the cables are not exciting. Yeah, we've got a cable and we've got an ethernet cable. That's for the switch. So yeah, overall, that's been a fascinating find. This rucksack, I think, it's a bit dusty. I think we're gonna, have got, I've got a nod to say that's going to the uh, rucksack heaven, I would say. Overall, we've got one useful top, we've got a fantastic happy hacking keyboard and uh, some DLT boxes and my Winnie the Pooh bowls. So it's, you know, big success. Wow, 20 years later. Thanks for watching, Darry.